Hi, I'm Kyle Hodges with Fort Knox News. The Army Substance Abuse Program, or ASAP, is responsible for seven different areas of service for the military community. These include alcohol and drug prevention coordination, suicide prevention, risk reduction, military and civilian drug testing, civilian employee assistance, community readiness and resilience integrator, and ASAP program management support. I'm joined today by ASAP specialist Byron Good, who serves as the Fort Knox primary for prevention coordination. Thank you for being with us today, Mr. Good. It's good to be here, Kyle. Can you tell me uh, about how long you've been involved with ASAP and maybe your specific duties here at Fort Knox and what got you into to doing what you do? Yes, well, Kyle, uh, I've been in with ASAP for eight years now. I started out as a drug test technician out at Fort Seal, Oklahoma. And upon working as a drug test technician, um, I was there for a year and my wife was PCS here to Fort Knox, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And this was a place I said I'd never come back to because I got certified here. But after uh, coming back here, um, I worked again as a drug test technician for the next three to four years and then I was afforded the opportunity to go sit up and um, observe one of the ADAP Prime for Life course. Mm -hmm. This is a course which is provided to soldiers who have a drug or alcohol related incident, mm -hmm. a two day course. And while I was sitting in the course, I realized that the course was totally different. It was, had totally different information than what I had expected. So it sparked my interest and I asked my supervisor to, uh, to if I could have the opportunity to become a certified Prime for Life instructor because I felt like, you know, in that area I had something to offer to soldiers with my military experience. Gotcha. So can you talk a little bit more about what you do here at Fort Knox specifically? Sure, I'm the prevention coordinator. And as the prevention coordinator, with the key word being prevention, my duties, my primary duties, are to provide um, prevention training and education to bring awareness to the use of alcohol and drugs. Gotcha. And uh, that program is available to uh, who exactly? This this program is, is available to soldiers and primarily soldiers, but to family members as well. And uh, civilian employees? Civilian employees as well, yes. Excellent. Uh, so can you tell me more about why you feel ASAP is such a key program, so it's such an important program here at Fort Knox? Well, Kyle, you mentioned the seven different areas in which we are responsible for, and each one of those areas provides services to the Fort, Fort Knox community, in which once again, we provide um, education. Um, we, we provide services to, to prevent, you know, high risk choices. And we also um, provide service to build strength and, and, and resiliency to the workforce. Gotcha. So I understand you were involved with uh, enhancing the reverse SRP process somehow. Can you talk about what you did there and how that's helping our soldiers? Sure. Um, when I first started the program, the reverse SRP and the reintegration of soldiers back to the states, to their unit, and to their families was a two-minute elevator speech in which uh, they would come to ASAP and get that speech, and then they would get initials on the paperwork, and they would go on to their next area. So um, I found that this would be an opportunity for me to talk to soldiers at all different levels in, in, inside the formations. Mm -hmm. And what I did, I put together a 30 minute brief that addresses high risk and low risk choices versus good and bad choices. And why, uh, why low risk and high risk versus good and bad? Well, let me say this. Um, generally, when we talk about the use of drugs and alcohol, uh, soldiers think that, you know, if they limit their use, or they and they make a decision that it was a good decision. Mm -hmm. So I start talking about the things like values. First thing I talk about to them is what do you value? Mm -hmm. And once I start talking to them about values, then that defines their purpose. Mm -hmm. Once they have a purpose, then we put a plan together to prevent and protect those things that they value. So when they talk to me about values and they say that they truly value something, then we'll tell them about making a low risk choice versus a high risk choice. Low risk choices will protect the things that you value, high risk choices will not. And that could definitely trickle into discussion about drugs and alcohol. Yes. Sure. So can you tell folks about how they would go about getting a hold of you if they wanted to take advantage of some of the services you offer here at Fort Knox? Sure. So you can either visit, them, visit us on the Fort Knox website. Um, or you can stop by building 1224 and my number personally is 502-624-1537. Um, awesome. 
So Mr. Good, before we go, what do you think the most important message there is about ASAP to share with the Fort Knox community? The most important message to share with the Fort Knox community is that we are available to provide those services to provide, um, to help them make those low risk choices versus high risk choices. But although we are here to provide those services, we are just a smart piece of that chain. Um, each individual has to make a decision and make an assessment to um, want to make those low risk choices to protect those things that they value and to also help build and strengthen the, the workforce and the um, force of our U.S. military. Well, clearly what you guys offer is, is certainly a benefit to the Fort Knox community, and I certainly appreciate you coming out Thank today you. to talk to us about this. Thank you. ASAP clearly plays an important role in helping our soldiers, families, and our workforce. With Fort Knox News, I'm Kyle Hodges.